Marcus Boxel House here, and uh, welcome to another video of mine. This time I wanted to uh, try and illustrate how I made uh, Marcus so far, and uh, using the most basic of uh, materials and tools here, because I am on a very slim budget, uh, fixed income, retired, and um, I had to go the cheap way of uh, making my suit, and uh, of course I'm still in the in the process of that. But uh, I wanted to uh, share with you how I've gone about it on a very uh, economic, um, very economical level. So let's start off, and uh, no particular order. Let me move my coffee out of the way here. No particular order. But you're going to need um, little pins. You've got the pin your materials from time to time, so just a little bottle of pins. And most of these tools are either around the house or you can uh, get at the local box store, dollar store, uh, Walmart, all that stuff. So there's pins. You're going to need some pins. And there's no particular order here. I've used uh, for trimming the fur, for, for like shaving it on occasion, um, you're going to need a good pair of uh, electric shears, probably um, a pet type, um, industrial strength type of uh, shear. I use a cheap Conair type from Walmart again, only because I had them and I shaved my hair and my cat's in the way. <sighs> so. Get down. You who have cats understand. So these work, but they'll blow them up. They don't have a lot of power to these, so you have to be careful using these types unless you get a good quality pair, and preferably one that's intended for uh, pets and their fur. Um, something I've used a little bit is Velcro, or a Velcro hook and loop type of material. Uh, I don't really recommend it in your suit as a permanent um, feature. Uh, the fur will get into this stuff badly. So after a couple of uh, closures, it's pretty well shot because the fur gets in there and really it won't hold too well. But it's okay for a quick fix or holding something temporarily. Now let's see here. Scissors. I just have a standard pair of scissors from around the house. Um, there's all kinds of shears you can get. Um, just something to cut thread, uh, cutting paper for templates um, and such. Masking tape, taping up your uh, head base. Uh, there's lots of videos on that and lots of videos on all of this. I'm just showing you what I've used. Oh, let's see here. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Thread. I use a uh, upholstery thread. Very strong. Strong. Uh, this will break long after your fur material breaks. This stuff is strong as nails. So any type of hand stitching, and I only do hand stitching. I have not used a sewing machine at all on Marcus. So any hand stitching, I've used um, upholstery. Paws are in the way, aren't they? Let's see here. Um, for the hand stitching, I got an assortment of needles. Uh, you can't really see. <laughs> These are uh, drift um, needles, and I've used the uh, tapestry needles. The tapestries are um, blunt, relatively child safe. You can't really stick yourself with them. They're down on one edge, so they're relatively safe. If they go through the backing of the fur, um, great. So, for hand stitching, this is the way to go. What a goodie we have in here. Oh, a seam ripper. Um, seemed like a good idea at the time. I have not had to use it yet, but um, if you have to get some seams cut and re-stitched, re this is probably going to be a handy tool to have. Oh, typical ruler. 
yardstick, measuring tape, whatever you happen to have, you're going to need it. Um, there are going to be measurements you're going to have to take. Let's see here. Oh yes, ever-present bag of glue, hot glue sticks. You're going to use a lot of hot glue on most of your projects, especially the head base. Um, working with the foam, you're going to be using a lot of uh, hot glue. And along with the hot glue, you're going to need a hot glue gun. And uh, these again are relatively inexpensive at your craft store, um, Walmart, and wherever. I'd recommend the standard size glue sticks, not the mini size, but the standard, because you want a volume of glue. You don't want the tiny little bead. Um, so there we go. Got that. What else we got here? Oh uh, yeah, I got a little bit of um, some um, scissors for nails. I use these to trim the fur from the backing side. Um, so on occasion I do use these for small trims. Um, let's see what else we got here. I don't have it in here, but I do have my razor blade that I use for trimming and uh, cutting uh, fur from the backing side. I don't recommend scissors in general. Uh, they will cut the fur and you don't want that. So I usually use a razor blade, single sided safety type razor blade. Uh, you got your craft knives, you've got your exacto knives. Uh, anything that is surgically sharp is great for uh, cutting the backing. And uh, let's see, I use a couple of Sharpie pens for marking the fur or marking up your uh, templates. So I've used red and I use black. And yeah, I got some some furry problems here with my paws. I guess like you can't see what I'm doing here. Uh, what else we got here? Oh yeah, you're going to need a brush for your fur, and uh, I use a comb, uh, just a cheapy comb. Don't, but don't comb out snags. Definitely kind of, kind of angle it so that you can brush at an angle like this to straighten out the fur. If you go this way and it hits a snag, it's going to rip the fur out. If you rip the fur out, it's not going to grow back, and you won't, don't want that. So you want to be very gentle in how you brush your fur. I do eventually want a pet brush, but for now this will work for me. And uh, tool wise, that's, that's about it. That's what I've used so far to make uh, the head, the paws, and uh, my tail. Here's my tail. Big and fluffy. So there we go. That's it so far. And uh, I'll come up with another video of the templates themselves and a few other tips that I've had along the way. Um, a huge shout out to uh, Rude Hyena. She has been um, very supportive in this past week or so by, by putting up videos. And uh, I can't thank her enough for uh, encouraging me to keep going here. So you all have a great day and I'll see you next time.